We were conducting coral reef research in Indonesia. And in the midst of it, everybody ended up getting pretty sick. And it got me thinking about the linkages between coral health and human health. So seagrasses live side by side with coral reefs in many of the regions of the world. They're kind of considered the ugly stepchild of marine organisms. I was out looking at this beautiful seagrass meadow and Professor Harvell just came up with this idea of do you think they could filter pathogens from the water with sewage that's running into the area? Especially in a place like Indonesia where they don't have access to sanitation systems. And so what we did is we applied for a NatureNet fellowship through the Atkinson Center. We set up these natural experiments where we tested water before it hit the seagrass meadow and then into the seagrass meadow and then back out at the reef level. And what we found was significant reductions in the bacterial pathogens inside of these seagrass meadows. When these corals are living next to the seagrass meadows, they have a 50% reduction in disease. So when you're protecting the seagrass meadows, you're also protecting the coral reefs. This research has significant implications for human health, particularly from moderating the pathogens that are running off from sewage into the seawater. What we're finding is that we could be improving human livelihoods in an area that needs it the most. We're also really interested in whether or not seagrass meadows can reduce antibacterial medications and pharmaceuticals from running off into the water. The Atkinson Center is trying to really do something different. They're trying to take sustainability to a new level by, uh, by collaborating among scientists. The Atkinson Center is amazing because it's a groundbreaking institution within Cornell that brings together a lot of different disciplines. There are economists that work with you, and engineers, and veterinarians, and biologists, and together you can solve bigger, bigger problems. Right now, we're really interested in looking at whether seagrass meadows here in the Seattle, Washington State area can also perform this function and improve the water quality in the United States. I received an email a couple days ago from the U.S. Department of Wildlife in California and they are starting to restore eelgrass beds um, down south and using this research as you know a way to support what they're doing. Seagrasses are highly endangered all around our globe. They're essential marine habitat, uh, they're well known as nursery habitat, they're well known for shore barriers and now we've added a new benefit this potential health link for both the organisms that live in the seagrass bed and for humans. And that's something that is a main mission of the Atkinson Center is to connect humans, their ecosystems and animal health together as a holistic system and protect it as one.